Good morning, everybody. I'm um, learning some interesting things here. For one thing, I'm learning that on the Mercy laptop, which I don't have administrative pri privileges for, I can't run OBS Studio because it is lacking some visual basic something or others. Let me see what it is that it's missing. It is missing. It was missing. I'm talking to ChatGPT. It's missing Visual C++ 2022 redistributables. And so I'm unable, even though I went through a great procedure to make OBS possible to run on a laptop that I don't have administrative privileges on, um, by using 7-zip to unzip the EXE file, when I went to run it, it said that it needed these redistributables and those I don't have. So instead of using OBS, I'm using a program called ShareX 16.1, which I got from portableapps.com and I downloaded ShareX Portable. <clears throat> and that lets me share the screen like I'm doing and record my voice so I don't have to use OBS, although it's not as uh, exciting as OBS, it will possibly do the job. And then I am using Roblox Studio, which does work on a machine for which you don't have installation rights. So that's good. And I'm using Blender Portable Zip, uh, which I can run on this computer without those rights. So this is a great workaround. And it's good to know about this place called portableapps.com. And if you want to try to install stuff, uh, it turns out some programs you can run 7-zip on. So 7-zip, you can get the portable version of that. And there it is. So we have 7-zip on your machine, have the portable version, so that sometimes you can unzip exe files can't put in redistributables for visual c plus plus but you can run some programs using portable apps 7 zip portable to extract dot exes instead of clicking on them in some cases so in this case i wasn't able to use the 7 zip portable but it did uh, portableapps.com did give me this share x and I did need to go into task settings and I did need to go to screen recorder and screen recording options and I had to pick the audio source which was none at the beginning. Now I have that and then I chose mp3 for the audio encoder. It started out as AAC. I don't know, I like mp3s. I don't know if I'm doing the right thing, but it works. All right. So that's ShareX, which I'm running now. And I'm recording all this. I'm going to use Blender in combination with Roblox Studio rather than using Blender in combination with Unity and then Spatial because I won't be able to get Unity on this machine. Uh, there's no portable version of Unity. It's a huge program. So Roblox Studio is going to be my workaround. And that's great because not only does it function like Unity, but it also functions like Spatial and it lets you bring a interactive game to life uh, immediately. So the idea is to get a terrain from Blender GIS, which I'm going to have to put in here. I don't have that. I hope this works. So let me go to Blender GIS and get the add-on for Blender GIS. And go to the green code thing and download the zip. And here I'm not going to unzip this. Just want to download the zip. See if it works. Come on. There it goes. Okay. The zip is now downloaded. And it's in the downloads folder. I'll go to Blender now. <clears throat> and I'll go to the edit preferences and go to add ons. And then in this new one, you have to get extensions. So I'm going to go as a repository to my system or my user default. I'm not sure. I'll do system maybe there. And then, oh, actually, I go from here. I'll go for install from disk. That's it, not repositories. Install from disk. And then I should find in my downloads 
Blender, there it is, I've done it. Blender GIS, okay. <clears throat> Say install from disk. And then when I go to add-ons, I find Blender GIS. And now if I want to get topography, I need to have it open topography API key. And this is all part of that setup. So go to open topography API key. And here and get public. Try it out. That's funny because that's not usually what what I use. Let me go to open because I have an account with open topography. So if I go to open topography and I go to my open topo, I've already got a login. And then I'm supposed to be able to then go to get an API key. There it is, request an API key. And then copy that. And now go to Blender and put the API key in there like that. And let me then just save references. And now Blender GIS shows up here. So if I want to get accurate <clears throat> so that I can put it into, uh, into Roblox Studio, I'm going to go to apps.google.com. I'm going to put Akrich Baraka in. And there it is. And there is the cemetery that we're modeling right there. So I'm going to right click and get the coordinates. And then go to Blender and go to GIS and go to Web Geodata to the base map. Say OK. And I'm going to hit G for go to, put the zoom level up to about 20, and then put those coordinates in. And I should end up in Morocco at that location. Just wait for the stuff to load. Well, it may have worked. Let's see if we go to still downloading the tiles. So it says it's there, but we don't see it. So that's interesting. Like, why are we not seeing the map? But we're not. So I can't really account for why we're not getting any map there. Because normally what you would do, and let me try this again. Let me hit escape here. Let me go to web geodata and base map. And say OK. And it's not pulling in anything there. Well, that is bizarre. Because generally what you do then is you hit E for extent and you get an extent. And then from there, you go in and you get your elevation, which pulls it from the open topography. And here it's telling us, no, it doesn't want to do it. So we're having all sorts of problems here. Let me try this again. So there's a Google stat that I'm deleting from here. By So normally, you go to reference, your web geodata, go to base map. And yeah, it's, it's acting very strange. Because then you'd hit extent, it cuts it out, and you should be able to see the image. It would normally have some texture. And maybe because this is a very slow computer, that's why we're not seeing it, because it looks like it pulled it in. But it's just freezing. So there's limitations to this particular laptop.
that I can't account for. Because that sure is freezing it up. All right, that said, <clears throat> let's try something else. Let's just try making a snip of this. We won't have any DEM data for this right now. And we'll save this as cemetery. And we'll put it in pictures. And then we'll come to Blender. And this thing here, we're going to delete because well, maybe we won't delete it. We'll just add. So let me see if that happens. If I add a uh, onto this plane, I go to here. It's, yeah, it's, just, it's so huge, whatever this file is, that it's causing all sorts of problems. So this is not the machine to do this work on because it's hanging up my machine. All right, so I've deleted that, and I'll try to delete that as well. I'll do this again on a better machine, and you will see how it works. But I'm trying to deal with this machine it's as such as it is. So let me add a plane. It'll be flat. You see how big that image was, which is why it froze up the screen. So we can, whoa. We can have a plane like that that we'll zoom in on. And then we're going to add a texture to that plane. And put in that map. Image texture and then open up that file and we got it pictures and it is cemetery and there we go okay so we have the cemetery now it's uh, just not geographically tagged it's just a picture but for roblox that may not matter and so in general we would then export this and bring into roblox Got to go for now. At least um, we got to start with this software called ShareX. And I'll pause here and we will see if we can upload that. I got all the audio. All right. So let's stop recording as Control Shift. And here we go. Print screen.